guys, this is my new video. But did you remember I asked you a question? I asked that what is a globe? How it is useful to us? The answer is, a globe is a small spherical model of the earth. It helps us to locate different countries by showing us the whole earth at the same time. It also helps us to see how the earth rotates on its axis. So let's go to today's topic, continents. Now basically what are continents? Continents are large land masses that are separated from each other by oceans and seas. Our earth is divided into seven major land masses that, that are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. Now let us learn something about them. Asia is the largest continent in which our country, our pride, India is located. Africa. We all know that Sahara Desert is the largest desert. But do you know in which continent it is situated? It is situated in Africa, North America and South America. Uh, North America and South America are joined together and they are once called as North America and South America are together. Antarctica. There are no uh, settlements for humans here because of its extremely cold temperature. Europe. Europe and Asia are joined. So once they are called as Eurasia. Australia is the smallest continent. It is surrounded by water on all sides. So that is, it is also known as an island. Now let us go to the map to, to be more familiar with these continents. Asia. Asia is the largest continent. North America and South America. They are joined with narrow land masses and are also counted as one continent sometimes. Africa. Africa is the second largest continent. Europe and Asia are joined, so sometimes they are called as Eurasia. Antarctica. Antarctica has no human settlements from because of its extremely cold temperature. Australia. Australia is the smallest continent and it is surrounded by water on all sides, so it is also known as island. Hi guys. Let's go to the next topic, oceans. Now basically what are oceans? Oceans are large and deep, deep, deep bodies of salty or saline water. There are five major oceans that are Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Antarctic, Atlantic Ocean, Antarctic Ocean, sorry, Arctic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in, in the deepest point Mariana Trench is located. Antarctic Ocean is sometimes known as Southern Ocean. So let us go to the uses of oceans. Ships carrying heavy cargo going from one country to another can go through water or oceans. Uh, oceans also provide us food such as fishes. Oceans also help us to give rain. How? So firstly the sun heats up the water from ocean, lakes, rivers, etc. This process is known as evaporation. Now when the water droplets cool and form clouds, this process is known as condensation. When the water, when the water droplets in the clouds get heavy and the clouds cannot hold them anymore, they come back to the earth in the form of hail, rain or snow. That is known as precipitation. The last process is of collection. When the water droplets in the form of rain comes down, the land of the earth soaks it and it is provided to us in the form of groundwater. The remaining water goes back in oceans, lakes, rivers, etc. So guys, I think you have understood this topic. So I have a question for you. Name the smallest and the largest continent and ocean. If you know the answer, please comment in the comments.
comment box. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe my video.